make that shit up and they saw stones of Hebrew the name of the Lord on it, I believe. What's the name of the Lord? Oh, are you talking about Hell. those? Oh, that's all, man. That's I all. Feel, but there was There's two things Hebrew. about that. Those, uh, Hebrew, those inscriptions are either fraudulent, which yeah, fraudulent just look bro. at the archaeology. Or let's just hypothetically say there's paleo Hebrew uh, found inscribed on some stone. And where? In the New the World. Let's just say, like New Mexico or the one in Ohio. Grave. Let's just say, right? A lot has been found that here. That does not prove was, they are in Hebrew. Their grave. Let's yeah. just say, let's just go with that. That? that does not prove who they were Hebrew. That? But do you, but do you guys understand how argumentation works? Let's say I found another language next to some who's buried. Okay, but you, but you does that prove group. his ethnic group is of the linguistic group? No! You got, you got, you got, that's a good point. That's a good point. It goes then. like this. Boom, 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 case closed. No, that's a good point you just made. And that proves that those Hellens in the New Testament weren't actually free. What else? See, just because they spoke the language of the Greeks, the Hellens. The Hellens, like Titus. Oh, right, right, right. Just because they were called the Hellens and they used that language doesn't mean you that ethnic identity on them. No, no, this is not, that's not them being with objects according to some linguistic group. That's Paul saying, Titus, being a Greek, didn't need to get circumcised. Remember that? Oh, yeah. And I'm going to ask you, but you were saying that the most of the uh, North American, look at that in a second, the North American Indians were polytheistic, right? Yeah. Of Animistic and polytheistic. So did, what about the northern tribe of Israel? What did they worship? They worship back well, there's, always a, there's always a faithful remnant. We all know that, well, right? Well, I would say so. The majority of the faithful remnant, but by and large, the reason why they were judged is because they were idolaters. Why is there so many scriptures on idolatry? Because Israel loved Because Israel idols. loved the foreign gods. They love them. Hosea. Just like all of us, we all we create do. idols in our hearts. Now, this is written to the church of Corinth who were... Did you look up your Greeks, Dorian Greeks? Well, so I see we're stopping here, but I'm just saying you guys never proved native Americans like you were Israelites. And you mentioned James there, and what I was going to say that, you before you made it. So, here's, well, what you, here's what you guys have tapped into. When the Native Americans were first kind of discovered by the European colonial powers, they had an interest in converting them. Sometimes it was mixed with political interest. Sometimes it was done for a pure heart. There's a real mixture going on. But God, guns, and glory. That's what's happening at the same time. When they came upon the Native American tribes, they all had this question, from whence did these people come? You guys have simply tapped into really old literature made by colonialists, sometimes missionaries, sometimes explorers, where they give these random, no good proofs to say, oh, look, they do this. That's kind of like the Hebrews. These people must okay, be Hebrews. So who's the 12 tribes that, that, that they, they didn't have any evidence. To, to a new land. Who, who's that? Yeah, where's that, that, that new that? land spoken of in the apocalypse? Where's what? what well, let's saying? just read this. But well, I'm just saying, you guys have got to understand there's a whole genre of literature. You tapped into you evidence, but it's made okay. by people out of the colonial what does that mean? Colonial mindset. People who have been the all the first of all, from. all the colonials, all the so-called people counting right, they was all different. They was very uh a very varied group, bro. When the pilgrims came over, they weren't all pilgrims on that ship. Some of them was pilgrims. Some of them was people who didn't give a fuck. They was there to get money, to get paid. Yeah, I know that. Like who was the, the Mayflower uh, was a mixed company. Right, right exactly. The non Christians among so the So you Puritans. can't put them all in the same No, group but like I know that. that. No, sorry about that. They made fun of them. I know that. But I'm not just talking about Puritans. I'm talking about people after, 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 and before. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just saying, if you guys read this, you'll realize, oh, this is the whole genre of read literature. It. The colonial powers didn't know how to classify Native Americans. And what 